This is Pete, or Kenshin1913, along with... Mom. And this is another Cooking with Kenshin1913. What are we making today? We're making pasta pesto with pistachios. It is a recipe that we um, got in Sicily when we were there, and um, we had it as a dish, and we ended up getting the recipe for it. Okay, so this recipe doesn't have a lot of ingredients, although um, the um, one of them you may have, uh, depending on where you live, um, you may have an issue getting it. Um, so it's um, pancetta. Pancetta is um, like a bacon, but it's not cured, and it has um, pepper in it. It usually comes round. You'll see it sliced or sometimes you can get it by the piece and then we chopped up our own um, little cubes. Uh, onion sliced, um, the pesto, and this particular one is from Sicily and it's called pesto alla brontese and it's, it's kind of like um, when you can't call champagne or cognac um, even though other companies and other regions make it only those two regions can have the the um, um, I, I'm not even quite the, sure that the, like rights to call the, it. the rights to call yeah, it that. So. the same thing is with this particular pesto because the pistachios are harvest there in Sicily. Yeah, in Bron in Bron and uh, Bronte. Bronte yeah. yeah, so what else we need? Um some type of pasta. We're using fuselli. Right now these are little corkscrews. Um you could use farfalle, which are the butterfly ones, or penne, which are the ones that have a point and it looks like a like a pen. Uh ricotta cheese and olive oil. All right, so we're adding our pancetta to the frying pan. You're going to want to add a little olive oil on the bottom, of course. Uh, we're just going to let that fry on, on a medium to high heat. Let it get nice and crispy, nice and crunchy. Then we're going to add our And onions. if you can't find pancetta, you could use a thick bacon. Right. But yeah, this recipe, like my mom said, we went to a little town in Sicily called Saboca, which was where The Godfather was filmed. Uh, some of the scenes from The Godfather, the first movie, when he was with his wife, getting Ap married, Apollonia. She was getting married, and they um, they uh, had a scene there. And we walked through that town, and we saw Cafe Vitelli, and uh, we met a very nice man who sold us this pistachio pesto from Sicily, and he gave us um, he gave us a nice recipe. He gave us a couple few recipes. This is the first recipe. It's basically pistachio pasta or pistachio pesto pasta. Now, um, you know, lots of people nowadays make their own homemade pesto. Yeah. Now, a pesto is um, basil that is put in a food processor and, you know, ground up uh, with garlic, um, cheese, and olive oil. Actually, I made some pesto just this past week. We had uh, gotten garlic, garlic skypes, which are the top, the green part of the garlic when it's growing, and the farmers cut it off. You can only get it for a, a short time um, because it's only got a short growing season. And I ended up making um, a garlic pesto. And I ended up putting walnuts in it instead of pistachio nuts. Uh, excuse me, instead of pine nuts. Um, and you could do the same thing with this. You could um, get pistachios and grind them up and put um, your basil in with it. Although they technically will not be Bronte because they have to be from the region of Bronte right. in Italy. Anyways, we also have our water almost boiling or pretty much boiling. We're going to put a little salt in there. To get the, to get the pasta very nice. And we're just going to come back when we uh, have this all nice and brown. Okay. Here is the pancetta. Nice and crispy. And this pancetta was really lean. So it does, didn't have a lot of fat on it. And, and some of it I actually cut off when I was chopping it. So um, 
there, it didn't make an extra oil, uh, right. oil. And now we're going to add our onions. You could, you could either cook the onion first or cook the pancetta first. I like to cook the onions in the pan, in the baking, in the uh, baking fat. Anyways, over here we're just going to liberally salt our... I did it. I already you already put the salt in? <laughs> so we're good here. And we're probably going to add our, our pasta in just a minute. But we're going to let these saute just for a little bit, just so they get a little translucent. Alright, we got the onions in the pancetta cooking. We salted our water. Now we're just going to throw in our pasta. Uh-oh, I lost one. What are you going to do? And uh, what we're going to do here is let this cook until, until al dente. But we might need a ladle or two of the pasta water to throw in, depending on how uh, saucy your sauce will be. Alright, so our onions are pretty much cooked. Very nice. We got ourselves, our pasta is still going. We got to put it in ricotta. Take it off the heat, just turn off the heat. Now we're going to add some ricotta. About a third of it or half of the, the ricotta, however much you want. If you want more creamy, add more, add, add more. If not, don't worry about it. So yeah, we uh, not only did this, not only did we buy some delicious pesto, pistachio pesto, but we also purchased um, this pistachio cream that's almost like a pistachio Nutella, and that was really, really good. We also bought pistachio liqueur, which was also very good. It was like a lemon cello. Have you ever had lemon cello, but with pistachios? And a cactus one. Oh yeah, a cactus one, which my mom really, really loved. We can't get those here in the States. Yeah, I wish we could. So you're just going to mix this up till it gets kind of creamy. And then we're going to add our pistachio pesto. So my mom is mixing the ricotta here and for some reason it is a little grainy. It might be just the, this is a store brand uh, yeah. ricotta so. Yeah, so what we're going to yeah. do is just add a little bit, a little bit, not even a lot. Just a smidge, like one ladle of the pasta water. This will help this will help keep it creamy. Sorry if you didn't see it. But yeah there we go. Now it's getting a little more creamier. And so depending on the size of your pistachio um, uh, jar, you'll be using half of it. Yeah this here is about um, a, a, a maybe a six ounce jar. Yeah so you'll probably use three ounces you can make you can basically get two out of it. It serves four, yes. So yeah, you just want to get all the pesto. We've made this many, many times since we've been back from Italy, which was what two years ago, two, three years ago. Wow. Uh -huh. And we've made this many times. Where did we, so what I'm happening is after we finished our pesto, our friends went over to Italy, or went over to Sicily, and they bought pesto for us, which was great. And we thank them a lot. Dorian Stefan, you're awesome. So yeah, at this point, you're just gonna mix this all together until like you get this nice, creamy, green, beautiful looking thing. This beautiful looking sauce. Now, if you don't, for some reason, I think my mom already mentioned it, but if you don't have a uh, pistachio pesto, you can substitute with regular pesto, but uh, this is specifically for pistachio pesto, but it'd still be fine the other way. So, yeah, we're just going to mix this until uh, we get it all, all congealed, and then we're just going to dump our pasta. As you can see, the uh, sauce did end up getting a little creamier as we, uh, we turned on the heat a little bit, and we uh, added some more pasta water, and it kind of got a little more creamy. Definitely got a little more cream here. So now we strain our, strain our pasta. We're just going to dump it right in and mix it up. My glasses are all fogged up. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want, you can add a little bit of cheese on top if you'd like, but we're just going to keep it plain. And you see, I didn't add any salt or pepper mm -hmm. to this. 
only because um, while I was cooking the pancetta and the onions because the pancetta has pepper in it and um, it's, and, and it's salty. Right. A little salty. So I didn't add any extra. But now you, you definitely can. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing wrong with with that. Yeah, so look how beautiful it looks. Very nice. And see how it soaked up all of the, the pesto. The pesto mm -hmm. sauce. Alright, so and we're that's gonna, it. Yeah. Alright, so here it is our pesto with pistachios, pancetta. And let's try it. It's got nice caramelized onions. Mmm. Sauce ended up again very creamy. You got yourself nice salty from the pancetta. You got that nutty from the pistachio. If you love pistachios, this is gonna be right up your alley. I didn't originally. Now I do. So it's really good. And I wanna thank the people at Dionisi in Dionisio and Savaca. For in Sicily. In Sicily for showing us this recipe. It was a little store that was mm. in that town. Mm -hmm. And that's all they sold was um, anything that was made with pistachios. Yeah, it was awesome. So, uh, yeah. I've been Pete, or Kenshin 1913, along with. Mom. And this has been another Cooking with Kenshin 1913. Enjoy and happy eating.